rain. We got the wind, Paul. And if you have hatches, you better batten them down. Yeah, and make sure the patio furniture yeah. is yeah. secure. Trash cans, too, if tomorrow happens mm. to be a trash day for you. Maybe wait till tomorrow morning to take that mm. out rather than putting it out there this evening. We're under this wind advisory for most portions of the Bay Area, except some of the sheltered valleys, until 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. The details of what we expect, sustained winds from the northwest at 15 to 25 miles an hour, but we're already seeing gusts over 45 miles an hour, and that brings in the possibility of some down trees, some down power lines, and that's a big concern considering how dry everything is across the Bay Area. Looking out at SFO, we've seen some of the strongest gusts so far, 56 miles an hour at SFO, but 59 miles an hour at the Altamont Pass and 62 miles an hour at Mount Diablo. Oakland, Half Moon Bay, San Jose have seen gusts in the 25 to 35 mile an hour range. So what's causing all of this? There's a storm system in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to be dropping down closer to us unfortunately, without any moisture for the Bay Area. But as it gets closer, it's pushing against this area of high pressure off to our south, just more atmosphere down there. As these two features get closer together, the same amount of air is being forced through a narrower gap. Think of putting your thumb over the opening to a garden hose, same amount of water coming out, but because you're restricting the opening, it shoots out faster. The same thing happens in the atmosphere. Air is a fluid just like water. So as that area constricts, the air gets pushed through faster and faster, and that's a Concern considering how dry things are. Tracking the fire fuel moisture, this is for the trees, especially in the Diablo and Santa Cruz mountain areas. We're near record lows. The blue line is where we've been since January 1st. The red line is record territory. And for the past month or so, we've been right around the record dryness levels for those fire fuels. So even with temperatures below average, that's been the one saving grace. It's something we have to watch very carefully. Here's our fire weather tracker. There are 426 of these circles on the map, and they just show us the combination of wind speed and humidity and temperature. Those are the red flag warning signs. So only about a dozen of these reporting stations are actually in red flag conditions. About another 30 are in yellow, which means they're close. If temperatures were much warmer, if they were even average for this time of year, we'd be much more concerned about the fire threat. It's still something we're going to have to watch carefully as we head through the rest of this evening. Here are those current temperatures along with, yeah, the flag just whipping in the breeze downtown. 56 degrees in San Francisco, temperatures in the 60s for Oakland, Livermore, and San Jose, and just around or barely above 70 degrees in Concord and Santa Rosa. Those inland temperatures especially are well below normal for this time of year, and that's the one thing keeping us from a much higher wildfire threat as we go through this evening as temperatures are going to drop off even farther. Here's how far below we are yesterday's pace, 2 to 4 degrees cool around the water, but temperatures farther inland, 6 to 8 degrees below where we were at this point on Tuesday. And temperatures are going to stay on the cool side tomorrow. Tomorrow, once that wind advisory expires at 5 a.m., it's going to be just a normally breezy day. Let's take a look at the A's forecast. If you're going to be heading out to the Coliseum, layer up. It's going to be cool and windy. Game time temperature at 640 against the Astros will be 60 degrees, and temperatures will cool off. And the wind isn't going to back off a whole lot. And, of course, in the Coliseum, it's going to be swirling around from every direction. Temperatures tonight drop down mostly to the mid to upper 40s. Again, the cooler the temperature get, the more hum the, hum more the humidity actually rises as we head through the overnight hours. And, again, that helps even without any actual moisture falling out of the clouds. Temperatures tomorrow, still well below normal for this time of year, just mid-50s along the coast. Low to mid-60s around the bay with temperatures as a mix of 60s and 70s farther inland. We're going to warm up as we head closer to the weekend and into early next week, but the wind should start to calm down on Friday, and I think we're going to be back to more reasonable wind speeds by Saturday and Sunday. Still a breezy day tomorrow, but it's not going to be windy enough to trigger that another wind advisory to be issued, but of course we'll keep an eye on that as we get a little closer to tomorrow morning, see how fast those winds die down. But it's definitely breezy out mm -hmm. there right now.